Let's talk some calls of the day. Get some more individual stock ownership names in here. Steve Weiss, Dick Sporting Goods, okay? Top pick at Bank of America. It's been one of your top picks, right? Price targets 160. That's big from here. 37% upside. You like it as much as you have in the past? I do, I do. So the stock trade up to 140 on earnings, and I said if it pulled back, I'd buy some more. I had bought some more, and I've mentioned on the show over the last couple of weeks. Look, it's down because Nike came out and they said, hey, we're having some supply chain issues. Dick sells Nike. So that's the issue. Those are temporary. Dix is under new management, completely new CEO over the last couple of years, and she's done a phenomenal job. They've got plans there to change the business a little bit, smaller stores, et cetera. I think it's a phenomenal stock, very cheap. It, is so, it was so much cheaper at 140 with the increase in earnings estimates going forward and this year than it was when I bought it originally at 95. So, yes, I still like it, still a core holding. I mean, we're looking, we were just looking at the, it's up better than a double this year. Um, that doesn't factor in mm -hmm. here at all. I think it was 110% on the year, if I looked at that right. We can show that again, gang, please. Weiss? You, you, you got to look at where the earnings are now and where the stock price is versus where the earnings were when, when it was down at that level before it doubled. And if the earnings continue to go up, and if you're feeling better about going out to stores, and they've got a great pickup at the curb uh, process, then, yeah, it's cheaper now. Stocks can be cheaper as they move higher than they were when they were lower. Conversely, just because the stock drops 50%, if the earnings get cut 75%, then it's a more expensive stock. So, yeah, so I still like it here. Okay. I still think it's cheap. Joe, I'm, I'm pulling up shares of Monster Beverage right now, which are down close to 3% today uh, on a downgrade by way of Jeffries. They go to hold from buy. They slash the price target to 92 from 113. This is one of yours. So they take a hard look at it and say, mm, time to downgrade. What about you? Yeah, this, this, this is an important stock to touch on. I bought this stock at 83.60 back on March 5th, and I proclaimed at the time it would trade above $100. Well, it got to 99.89 on August 10th, but unfortunately, my ego, my ego and probably too much hubris at the time, uh, wanting that $100 plus print kept me in the stock. What I failed to realize is that rising aluminum pricing, rising input costs, what I was talking about before, was going to impact margins. Monster Beverage, I understand the innovation surrounding flavors and coffee, that's why I'm there. But if we're gonna continue to see rising input prices, guess what, Scott? they're going to have to raise prices, and they're not doing that. And that's disappointing the street. That's why the poor performance is reflected in the stock price. And candidly, it's one of the reasons why I cannot let a winning trade, trade turn into a losing trade, and I'm going to pay close attention to where this trades over the coming days and might even liquidate the position. What's going to be the deciding fact? I mean, it, again, it's down 3% today. You got a number in your head for our viewers who may have joined so, you in this? Eight, yeah, so 8360 is where I am in. This stock needs to reverse by the close on Friday from today's. It cannot trade down below $84 by Friday. If it does, I'm out. All right. But for me to stay in it, I need to see a significant reversal, what uh, viewers would know to be from our friend Josh Brown, an island reversal. Okay. We need that type of a formation to stay in. I appreciate you getting as specific as you possibly can for people. Uh, let me just stay with you and get a quick thought on Chipotle and Lulu, which you own. Um, among uh -huh. stocks named their top millennial picks uh, by Cowan, uh, they're the ones who have done it. It's their fourth annual Gen Z and millennial survey. Uh, and they come out with Chipotle and Lulu as two of their three tops. PayPal's the other one, but since you own Chipotle and um, and Lulu, I'll get you. I'll get you with those. Does that make me a millennial? I hope it does. In your, in your uh, dreams, Joe. Smoke, in your dreams. Smoke, yeah, exactly. Well, this, listen. I, I hope you yeah, have welcome, the smoke Joe. brisket welcome at Chipotle to because. Uh, yeah, exactly. The, the smoke brisket at Chipotle is just absolutely phenomenal. Listen, I've spoken at length over the past couple of months about both of these companies. I use the products of each of them. I wear Lululemon. I eat at Chipotle. They're doing a dramatic recreation, both phenomenal management staff. Uh, the challenge for these in the last couple of weeks is simple. They're longer duration assets. 
We're seeing Treasury yields move higher, and they, you're going to see a pause in the appreciation for these stocks under those circumstances. But the fundamental secular story, no way, doesn't change. That's why you own these stocks. It's fantastic.